There was movement that was not in sync with me. Between my limbs and my body was a light blue in places. I saw whirls of pink with the red structure. At times, there would be tiny flashes of white before these whirls that formed one giant structure. A white mist sort of obscured the view of the shadows and things. And when it cleared, it was to be seen around objects. During the final reading, I felt totally stilled. I felt like there was a wavy sort of movement around me at times, though. And then for a final scrying, I saw a darker blue curved and up, so at least a couple layers of it, and everything went black except for the same darker colors as these shapes. But it felt like I was surrounded by presence. Chapter 5 reminds us that tattoos and oracles can have a lot more meaning to them than we realize. I think of some of what comes through in this novel as representing the psychological themes of reference to the past and types of psychology that did not start with humans, but started with other animals that we've kind of evolved out of, are adjacent to. Chapter 6 reminds us that the sinister are any other side, right? Can form collectives and have powers and effects that they wouldn't as individuals just working on their own. Art has a power. Transformation may be physical or mental. An alchemist can recognize the symptoms. Chapter 7 also reminds us that, you know, it's important to have different tools, that we must be prepared by those who may want to change our position, may want to put us through things that we on the outset and afterwards may not have wanted to go through, whether we agreed to them or not. And how art may not be literal, but certainly people can use it against individuals as if it's literal. And people will present people with impossible choices, as they're called. But it's not entirely for people to lay claim on other people. It is their decision, too. Chapter 8 reminds us that people can be saved 
from the brink of defilement or, you know, otherwise, and that certain things can be put in motion, but they're put in motion in such a way that they can destroy those that put them in motion as well. A theme that I may have left out in my previous mention is the idea that some people know and some people are wise. So they take things seriously, but some people, okay, here are the bare letters, but what does that mean? What are its implications? You know, what is more than just saying it or performing it? 